Oh, oh, no, no, you're never taking this off. I'm like Iron oh, Man. Now, man, hold on. Ireland? Hey, you guys see that? Laser Team. So this film is actually from the minds behind Rooster Teeth, a popular channel here on YouTube. So this is a film uh, produced by those guys to a good professional standard and is basically a kind of sci-fi comedy. It does have a certain retro feel to it, so it kind of reminds me of certainly the, the movie The Watch, but also things like maybe Zathura a little bit as well. The story here is that we are contacted by an alien race. Earth is contacted by this alien race and they've said, right, you've got this other alien race that's going to come down and they're going to send some kind of champion. You have to defeat this champion in one-on-one -on -one combat. So this seemingly friendly alien race are basically saying, we'll help you out. We'll send you this kind of super suit to help defend yourselves. So they're basically the military train this guy up and he's like, you know, he's going to be the ultimate soldier. However, plans go awry when the suit does finally arrive. It's actually picked up by these four losers in small town USA. It's always small town USA, isn't it? Anyway, basically, then we have kind of misadventures with these four guys that can't get along, uh, and they have to, you know, learn the value of teamwork and kind of, you know, overcome personal obstacles and things like that uh, to defeat the bad guys, basically. And that's pretty much your movie. Now, I will say this, although I certainly don't think this movie is bad, it's so formulaic. It really just is a very much uh, paint by numbers. Uh, kind of sci-fi comedy. I didn't feel the uh, many of the jokes hit to be honest with you It was kind of just very very humdrum and you might get the odd snigger here and there, but I was never kind of um, you know uh, laughing out loud here. I Will say uh, writer and actor Bernie Burns who plays the kind of the kind of the, the main character I suppose who is is kind of like this like, local sheriff he was by far the, the, the kind of the, the, the most well-developed character and maybe the one you kind of empathise with the most. Uh, the other three is one guy, you virtually get no character at all from him. He's really just an unknown uh, quantity. One of the guys who ends up getting the helmet, you don't know anything about him hardly. And the other guys get a, a minor bit of characterization, but they all tend to be a little bit kind of one note. But it's pretty much, this film will pretty much kind of uh, play out like you think it's going to play out. You know, we'll have various shenanigans as these guys are struggling and bickering and can't get on. There are some kind of quite fun effects here, I have to say. And I did like the uh, the kind of, the, certainly the, the retro feel to it. It's, it takes place in contemporary times, but it does have that um, almost a bit like pixels. I would say Dave maybe has a little, maybe, that, maybe that's not the best compliment here, but it does remind me of pixels, that kind of retro feel to it, even though it does... As I say, take place and, and it's not based on any kind of like past, uh, you know, property, but it has a kind of almost, if you can imagine the watch pixels, maybe kind of Power Rangers, and, and you mix it all up and you put a tiny little sprinkling of jokes in there. Pretty much, this is your movie. Um, like I said, it's it, it's in no means bad, but I, I can't recommend it on really any level. I didn't think it was a particularly funny comedy, I didn't think it was particularly good sci fi. There's kind of um, there's a couple of okay action sort of kind of sequences. I don't think the aliens were particularly well designed. The effects in this kind of suit look kind of cool, uh, but that's pretty much it. I think it's very forgettable to be quite honest with you. Like I said, it's okay if you just want a, a mindless kind of sci-fi comedy, but I cannot recommend this film in any one way that I thought it was particularly good. So I'm gonna give this film. A mediocre review and that's going to be 5.5 out of 10 have you seen it what did you think of it leave a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now